It kind of felt good for you guys to come out with a performance like that after the second half on Friday against uh, Tennessee. I guess Julian, start with you. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, uh, those practices coming back from Texas were some of the toughest I've had since I came to Gonzaga. I mean, you know, just the way we broke down in that second half, obviously that's not how we want to be seen. And, and we, we know we're better than that. So just coming back home, making those changes, making those fixes, and then making sure that we came out here. And, you know, we just had fun tonight, you know, because, I mean, losing ain't fun, and that's not what we do here. So just make sure we had fun, and it's like we did a good job there. Yeah, it's all about how you how you use the, um, the opportunity. You know, we didn't want to hang our heads. No one felt sorry for us. So, like, it was hard practices, but we, as a team, we came together and told ourselves, like, this is what we needed, and we know what we, know what we need to do now. So that's just the maturity of this team. What was film like the last few days watching that game? Oh, I mean, exactly what you would expect it to be. I mean, it wasn't fun, but we—I mean—we knew that going into the uh, film room, and I mean, it's changes we had to make. I mean, you know, it's not like we could just, you know, shy away from those issues and, and the things we did wrong. So, I mean, Coach Few let us have it, but you know, at the end of the day, that's what he had to do with his job. What was kind of at the top of the list for practice emphasis? Oh, uh, I mean, I think I think that stat was like 75% of uh, the points we gave up against Tennessee were off a breakdown. So just our mistakes, it wasn't like, you know, they were just making a bunch of crazy shots. I mean, it, it was on us, you know, switches, communication, things like that, being in, uh, being in the right spots and help. So, I mean, it's all things that we can change, which, which is the, good, uh, the best part, you know. You know, it's not like we went out and uh, got our butts kicked and there's nothing we can do about it. You know, we came home and we had a lot to work on. So, I mean, just defensive stuff, uh, communications, and offensively, we didn't look like ourselves in that second half. Uh, ball wasn't moving, and, you know, um, it was just stagnant. So, I mean, we put a lot of emphasis basically on everything, you know, top to bottom. I mean, it's a full full practice, offense and defense. That's what we need. Julian, did you get out of this game tonight what you wanted then? Uh, yeah, for sure. Especially, you know, in the, in the first half, I feel like we got out in transition, forced turnovers. You know, I feel like going into the season, that was something that we wanted to do a lot. I feel like we had a lot of length and – you know, anticipatory players. So I thought we wanted to get a lot of steals and get out in transition. We did a good job of that, you know, to start the game. And we wanted to have a lot of positive energy and, you know, just have fun. And I feel like we did a good job of that. So I feel like we got what we need. Alka, a nice game for you tonight. Does it feel like you're just kind of finding your spot in the, on the team here, essentially finding your group? Uh, yeah, I mean, I knew coming in it was like a different system, but like these guys, they may, you know, keep, you know, just, you know, being good teammates, being supportive. And, um, I mean, I know I'm a good player. And it's, it's not just going to take time, but uh, just playing the right way and, you know, everything will happen. Everything will take care of itself. So, um, yeah, I feel comfortable. Julian, you've been through a few of these where it's exhibition and then into uh, the regular season. How, how ready or will you guys be for the games that count now? And does it kind of dial up, you know, the intensity a little bit? Oh, I mean, the unique thing was that we got to play a top 15 team right off the bat. So, I mean, we've seen we've seen uh, a top team already, and we know what it takes. And I mean, we got slapped in the face. So, I feel like now going into this next game, we know we know exactly what we need. And I mean, this North Florida team it is no pushover at all. You know, they're a really good team. I mean, they're gonna get out and transition, shoot a lot of threes, and I mean, they're gonna challenge us. So, I mean, making sure that right on Monday, I mean, we're ready to go as is if we're playing another top 10 team. And then, I mean, that Friday, I mean, it'll be a dog fight. So, I feel like, I mean, we're throwing right, right in the fire, but I mean, we was already there in the fire based off this last game against Tennessee. So, I feel like we're ready to go. When some of the, some, some of the things you're saying to maybe the younger, less experienced guys is make that switch from exhibition <clears throat> to season mode here, things they need to keep in mind. Oh, I mean, just that it's real. I mean, it's not like, you know, we have these cupcake games and we get to, you know, ease into everything. I mean, we're, I mean, Coach Few put us put us through a, a real battle. Like, a, every game is going to be a battle to start the year. And I feel like, you know, I feel like the guys know that. And I feel like, you know, we, we have so many like-minded dudes on this team. And, it, you know, especially off that loss, I mean, we're ready to go. We don't, I, we already felt what it, what it feels like to, you know, lose a game. And I don't think none of us want to go through that again. Well, okay, your first night, I mean, you had craziness, but this is the first game in the kennel. Was it what you thought it would be? And it was kind of not as many people, but was it what I you mean, thought it would be? Still bigger than any game I've been in, like home-wise. So, uh, you know, we're just grateful for the fans and, uh, you know, 
it's just crazy. Like you see it on, I've seen it on TV, but like being in person, like it's crazy. Like words can't explain it. And the thing is, like you said, it was it's not even how it's gonna be like towards you know the season. So um, it's, it's, you know we don't take that for granted and we use it to our advantage. Uh, Julian, you've been pretty close with Dom Harris for quite a while before you guys even got here. What, what's it like to see him back out there, and how's he looked in practice? And you got 12 tonight, a couple minutes against Tennessee. Um, was it, what's it like to see him back on the floor? Uh, I'm just happy for him, just because I mean, obviously as freshmen, we both went through those freshman bumps. I mean, we didn't get get no playing time, and then you know, just to have a heartbreak to, get to you know, um, just be out for the year last year. I mean, I was heartbroken. I mean, he was my uh, roommate on every road trip. You know, just. Trying to help him through those times because, you know, we're playing those big road games and, you know, he just wants to be a part of it. So just seeing him on the court, I mean, that, that brings a smile to my face. And, uh, you know, I know he's super happy to just be back and be able to contribute. And, I mean, you know, obviously it's going to take some time for him to get his timing back. I mean, he hasn't played basketball in a year. So, I mean, he's just working on getting his timing back, getting his field back. I mean, we all know that he's an amazing basketball player. So, I mean, just, just taking taking it slow with him. But at the same time, we, we know how talented he really is. Uh, big news today, uh, you know, potentially Big 12, all that stuff breaking today. Just what's that like for you guys as players seeing that? I mean, I don't think we pay too much attention to it. I mean, we have, we have a game tonight, so, I mean, I don't know. I didn't really even see anything. I, I heard, I heard, they yeah, word of mouth. This is all I heard. Someone told me, but I was like, nah, I ain't even hear about it. They said something about it. I don't know. They just chatting, bro. No, no, no. We've been supposed to be switching conferences for like 15 years. Don't be on D&D on game day, bro. So I don't be worried about that. Any more questions for the guys? This is the, the, the free throw shooting. Uh, do you guys spend more time in the gym after a, a game like this? I know it wasn't necessarily just you guys or even you guys, but um, is that a point of concern right now, or is it just too small of a sample size? to? Uh, it's definitely a point of concern, and uh, Coach Q just told us that we all got it. You know, get our bunch of free throws up because something ain't working. Whatever we're doing, it's not working. And I mean, with how much, how efficient we are, and how much we get to the basket, I mean, we're gonna be shooting free throws all year, and you know, can't miss front ends and one on one and ones. I mean, those are essentially turnovers. So, I mean, we gotta just knock them down. I mean, it's not much to be said. We just gotta get in the gym and knock them down. Yeah, they heard us last game too, so you know, it's a big part of the game. And I mean, it's, we're gonna get it right. You know what I'm saying? So. We just wait for the games to count first to get it done. Did he say it that nice the way you said it? Did he say it that nice? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> nah. But he, he, he let us hear about it for sure. But um, I'm sure we'll all be there getting our 100 free throws in. So you have to make 100 or shoot 100? Make 100. So some dudes might be there for a minute, but it's what they need. <laughs>